Welcome to the Global Perspectives Mid-Year Update. As sometimes here, I am waiting for the next pullback to get invested. Most investors caught uttering this sentence over the past few years ended up learning an expensive lesson. As so often, the next pullback became the next pullback, became the next pullback, and so on. 2014 has been no different, as there were a number of developments over the first half to give skittish investors reason to delay a full allocation to equities. Markets haven't had time for such excuses, however. Not only has the bull run continued, it has broadened across global markets. The early year cold spell was trumped by a resurgence of domestic and international economic activity, while European central banks' monetary stimulus provided an extra boost to risk appetites. At mid-year, we are affirming our forecasts issued in January. This includes our S&P 500 earnings per share target of $121 and year-end price level of 2020, as the positive trend in corporate earnings has continued unabated to push the S&P 500 ever higher. In addition, we affirm our U.S. GDP growth forecast at 3% despite the disastrous 2.9% contraction in the first quarter. We also stand by our predictions that the yield on 10-year U.S. Treasuries will end the year at 3.25% and that the Eurozone will generate GDP growth of just 0.5% for 2014. Given our expectation that recent trends will persist, for the balance of 2014, we advocate an equity exposure to match. Risks abound, of course, highlighting the importance of fixed income as attractive downside protection. That said, with valuations compelling and tectonic shifts providing catalysts for growth, markets should continue to march forward in the second half despite certain investors' insistence on waiting for the next pullback to return to a normal allocation. I'm Doug Cote, and that was this month's Global Perspectives.